Hey, how's it going, everybody? Today we're going to be playing some Fafnir. Uh, we're up against a tier. Oh, would you look at that? Um, you know, tier's kind of... I, I don't know how this matchup goes. I, I feel like Fafnir can win late game, even if tier goes tanky, because Fafnir has protection shred on his one in dragon form. But, I mean, I don't know. Tier's kind of weird. Kind of a weird god, plus this guy had like five stars. And also, tier kind of beats some of my other guardians, so I don't know. We're about to find out. Anyways, I'm going to start a Sands of Time into Bancroft's, which is my normal start for Fafnir because he desperately needs cooldown, and Bancroft's just amazing on him for turning fights. And second relic, honestly, Sunder. Sunder's good against warriors, so I think it's a good idea. Hello, Chili Chip. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. So we're going to put two points in my one and one point in my three, and that's going to help clear the wave a little bit. Now, I would actually prefer to start blue buff, and it looks like he's starting blue buff, so it looks like I'm safe to start my own. Again, as Fafter, a lot of times when I play Guardians, I don't want to fall behind on on buffs and stuff. It's like super important to not fall behind. Um, but Fafnir is like a little bit opposite. It's okay to play the game a little bit slow in the early game. If you fall behind, it's okay. It's all good. Oh, he was starting at red. Whoops, I just didn't see him. That's all all good though. But yeah, yeah, Fafnir. It's all it's all good. It's okay. Just take your time. As long as you get to late game, everything's good. But if you die a bunch in the early game, then it's not good. Whereas, like, on your mirror, I'd be wanting to take every buff on the map, right? If I'm not taking every buff on the map, then something's bad. Something's going, going badly, you know? That's fine. It's not enough damage to kill me. Plus, now he's actually getting big poked. Can't kill him. I uh, don't know if Double Sunder was worth, but he did just lose a lot of minions to the... To the wave. He does have blink. Keep that in mind. Okay, I need to leap away before he... Oh, he might blink me here. Or did he use his blink? I mean, I, I wasn't really paying. <laughs> now that I think about it, did he blink me earlier? I don't think he did, but maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Because I was thinking about other stuff. Sometimes I do that. And then it's so awkward looking back at the recording. It's like... Come on, he obviously used his relic. Now use this. That should kill. Okay, cool. Yeah, so stunning him, then ulting right next to him basically was like, okay, you're in fearless stance. If you, you can't use your one right now, otherwise it's going to be a waste. So you're definitely going to be stuck in my, my ultimate range. And that does quite a bit of damage. Now, once I came out of that, it's like he could have set himself up to push me, but then I would have just killed him after. I don't know. I think the only strat, the only way he could have kind of gotten out there was to alt away. Or maybe if he fearless me into his two and then immediately switched stance and one two'd me, then maybe that would have been enough damage to kill me. Also, he is going Bumpus Hammer. I've seen Bumpus Hammer tier like twice. It's pretty good, but it's weird. Because you almost never use an auto attack between the fearless and tiers two. And because of that, it's weird to have Bumpus Hammer on him because you're not getting the full effect of it. And same thing when you are in the defense stance, you use the one and two. You just don't really auto attack between. But they're definitely auto attack between the other abilities, like the three and stuff. And because he has uh, five abilities... Or six abilities, including his ult, I guess. Right? One, two, three, four, and then one, two. Um, it still works pretty nice on him because it does lower the cooldowns in the other stance. That's how stance switches work. Should be fine. If anything, if he stays, I will try to kill him. Oh, I'm bad. <laughs> All right. We're going to wait for my one to come up then. Maybe I'll try to sunder, sunder ult him. We'll, 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 we'll see.
Okay, so he does Fearless, which kind of wastes it because now he can't use it on me. That's a shame that my three didn't land on him. I'm not going to be able to kill him now. If my one hit him, um, or if my three hit him, I definitely would have killed him. All right, let's just untransform. Can't get anything out of it. I think red buff is up. Yeah. Again, I, I usually prefer... Oh, he's going to come stop this. I usually prefer blue buff, but I mean, if he can take red buff, then take it. Again, he's not low enough for me to kill him. He looks super low health, but my all my Faf, all Fafnir's kill potential in his, is inside of the ultimate. So when he's like a quarter health, it's really difficult to get the finishing kill. Even with the 2-1-3, it's usually they'll just be low enough where they can just walk away. And then because you don't have any cooldowns, you can't really chase them. All right, let's try to take this again now that he's out of here. Also, Divine Ruin is going to be huge this match. Tears healing. I don't know why. It's just huge for some reason. Oh, he's going to blink on this. Let's see if I can. Okay, cool. Oh, am I in trouble? Oh, if he switches stance, I'm dead. Okay, cool. Oh, look how low health he is. Wouldn't it be a terrible thing if I stayed? If I didn't recall, wouldn't that be terrible? It's the Aegis. <laughs> oh, I didn't get the kill though. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to use my one there. That was just Butterfingers. Also, sorry if I sound different. My nose is bothering me today. So, you know, kind of unfortunate. Yeah, let's get, uh, get out of my ult. I should have gotten out of my ult earlier. Um, I'm going to rush a Divine Ruin because he's not rushing defense yet. So I think I can skip defense too. Usually that's a bad idea, but that's all right. Defense-wise, I will probably go for a Contagion. Just because Tyr's healing is... He, it, he can only heal if he's near minions. If he's near minions, I can control kind of where I am easier. And whether that Contagion is affecting him or not. A lot of times I don't get Contagion against healers because, uh, or like, I mean, I guess it doesn't make sense against healers, but like, let, let's say, um, I'm trying to think of a physical guy that can just heal out of combat. Like, let, let's, even like AMC, right? He A lot of his healing from the hives is when he's out of my range. And it, it actually does add up, that healing. But because it's out of the range, it doesn't really help. We do quite a bit of damage with this temp or this flat pen for my item. I forget how much this pen the tier 2 gives. Again, I don't really have any kill potential, but I can definitely poke him because I'm ahead and he's behind. But no kill potential, so he can just run. Oh, wait, I shouldn't stand there. Okay, now I have kill potential. He's going to have to ult out. And now he misses this entire wave. I'm not going to detransform in case he stays. Usually I would detransform right away. Okay, he's leaving. So now I'm going to do that. Again, the the ult does give me more damage on the tower. But I'd rather get out of my ult immediately. That way I have my ultimate 20 seconds faster than just staying it as long as possible when I'm not even going to be fighting him, you know? It really depends on the situation. But I really think having the ult back faster is more important. Looks like he's buying brawlers or something like that. All right, let's recall I'm out of here. Red buff's coming up, but that's all right. Let's get Contagion. And we should save our second relic for what he gets. If he gets horrific, that would be awful if I don't have sprint. Um, and I mean, I don't really think I want to. I mean, horrific could be amazing against here. If he doesn't get sprint, I could get horrific, and that means I could... Um, I could guarantee force his ult with horrific, which would be good. Also, Tyr can't really go for Demon King that easily, so I don't really have to worry about it too much. If he, if I kill him and I'm in my ultimate near Demon King, I can take it. 
at this point. Ow. I'm bad. <laughs> oh, well, he ulted in place. Perfect. Oh, he... Mm, I should be good? Okay, cool. Um, if I missed any of those abilities, uh, he would have immediately... He would have been able to change stance and probably kill me. Because, I mean... Well, he doesn't have that much cooldown yet. Transcends hasn't even evolved. Also, there are buffs up, but I'm going to prioritize taking Tower. Because Fafter does have a little bit less Tower pressure in early. So I might as well take use of it, the, uh, what I have. Let's clear the wave. Back off. Don't have my ult, so my kill potential is very low right now. But even... I mean, right now I'm ahead. So I, I still do a lot of damage without my ult. But the kill potential is just... It's just not there. Um, Blink would also be... Oh, he got Sunder. I think... I think Horrific. I think Horrific would be good. And then we're going to upgrade Sunder. Because if I horrific him and my one's up and he knows my one ult is up, he's not going to want to get comboed. I think he will ult out. And if he doesn't ult out, then I'll just hit him with the um, with the ability anyways. Yeah, but he didn't hold on to his second rug. As a Sunder, I'm not too afraid right now. Let's do this. Let's see if he ults out. Doesn't look like it. So now we'll just ult and I have my leap up so I can chase him over the wall or anywhere I need to go. Awesome. Um, I should detransform. I don't have enough time to go over for Demon King. I can go take red. The respawn timers are still pretty low. Also looks like he's going for a Genji's or something like that. Okay. Let's go into... Honestly, Typhon sounds pretty amazing. Gem of Iso. I, I haven't built Gem of Iso on Fafnir in a long time. But... I'm finally up against a god that doesn't really have a bunch of slow immunity. He's pretty mobile, but which where the gem Viso can actually help out. And he, the only way he has to get out of it is to ult out, really. So, yeah, I, I think it's a good item here. Oh, so sad. Again, I don't. The wording is not super important this game because again, he can't really sneak Demon King. It's not like a hunter, but it does let me know if he's hiding behind a wall or if he gets to low health and he tries running away. I know which way he goes. It's just the amount of gold is. I think it's worth it for wards and duel, even in situations like this. Okay, my blue buff's coming up. Now, I don't know if he's just going to instantly turn this game around with Bumpus Hammer. That's usually how most gods are, but I don't... I don't know. I, I still feel like he can only use it between, like, a few... Very, like, very few of his abilities. We'll, we'll have to see. It would be insane if Tyr could just juggle you forever. Also, I've been using this skin again. I love this skin. I was using the Sin of Greed skin for like ever. So now that I'm using this one, I'm pretty happy about it. Of 
cool skin concepts to have like the sin of greed, sin of wrath, or whatever. All those. He might alt out. Okay. Now we horrific. Now he's super slowed. And he's pretty much guaranteed hit. Double sunder him. He's dead. It's awesome. Yeah, so that's another thing I can do with my horrific is I can always use it after he ults, and then he's guaranteed slow, no way out. Now I'm not going to detransform here because I do have more damage on Phoenix and Dragon Breath. I need to leap out. Uh, no. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Oh, he's going to be chasing me. I want red buff, though. I will risk it. I'm pretty far ahead, so if I die, I die, but... I would like this red buff. Oh, he's coming for it. I can't even pick it up, is the funny part. Oh, I missed. I pick it up in three seconds. Oh, I can use my one. <laughs> I had a feeling he would ult on me, but I I thought I could get my one off before he was would be able to fearless me. All right, so let's build into what should we get next? I mean, I think Spear the Magus. That's what I'm hovering over right now. I can of course sell it for full price um, right now. I don't know, know. Spear the, Ma the Magus. I always say that item wrong. I usually say Spear the Magus, but Spear the Magus. Um, I mean, it's pretty, pretty solid item here. He only has one defense. If he had two defense, then maybe Obsidian or Rob Tahuti or something like that. That is percent pen. But right now, only one defense. I think flat pen is fine. My cooldowns are kind of trash because I haven't upgraded my item yet. And I'm actually not going to have max cooldown late game. I'm going to have 30%, which is okay. Usually I try to get that 40%. Oh, I could have saved my three there and then won the game. Because if I chased him over the wall with my three, uh, horrific him, he would he would have just 100% been dead. Keep in mind I can ult the Titan too, and it will just do a huge amount of damage. Oh, <laughs> I actually leaped over it. Damn. My two applies item effects too. So like if I use my two and just start autoing him, it's like I have frostbound hammer. I chase him. Oh, whoops. Oh, I might die. I might die. I might die. Oh, I'm guaranteed dead. Oh, no. I thought he was I thought he was just going to loop around. So that's why I, I was initially going to leap the other way. But then I was like, okay, I'll try to cut him off. And he wasn't even close. And I tried, okay, he's definitely going to run away now. And I tried predicting with about one, but he just kind of stood still. That was awful. I admit. I admit that was awful. How much power does he have right now? 281? That's quite a bit. I have 420 power right now. It's a sign. Sign of goodness. Okay, so his Phoenix is back up, which isn't that big of a deal. I should go back and finish my starter item pretty soon. 
Looks like we're going to have a late game fight. His full build versus mine. Which makes it a little bit more fun. This blue buff's up. I could have gone for that. But oh well. Oh, he is going double defense now. So might be worth swapping an item out. Mayhaps. But for now, we'll just upgrade this. Yeah, again, usually I don't care for uh, Gem Viso. I feel like the stats aren't that good. But, I don't know, we'll just try it out here. I, I, I get told, like, to build it a lot. But it's usually it's just not that worth it. I'm at full health. This is not even a big deal. Yeah, I actually prefer him blinking on me at full health. Oh, I missed. Oh, no, I wasn't close enough. Ah, no, 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 no. That's so bad. That's so very bad. I can try to cut him off. Okay. He, tried, he wanted to fear... I, I know what he was trying to do. He was wanting to fearless me into the Phoenix, right? But obviously... Uh, kind of difficult to do when I've got Gem Viso and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, dear. Yeah, I, I, uh... Yeah, I don't know. It's just, uh, it's unfortunate. <laughs> By the way, my Dragon Breath on its own does not apply Gem Viso. only applies Gem Viso if I have my two activated. The Dragon Breath does not apply any item effects. And that's why I don't build things like Polynomicon on Fafnir. Oh, no. Okay, cool. So there's the final build, you guys. GG's. Thank you. Tier's pretty cool. Tier's really nice. But, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this game and learned something with Fafnir. I appreciate all the support from you guys. And, yeah, just, just hoping good things for you guys. And, uh... Oh, I unlock, I unlock things. Cool. Anyways, here are the player stats, and I hope you guys have a good day. Bye, everybody.